Designing a small space requires a lot of understanding of your own needs and your lifestyle. My design idea was to create a sanctuary from the bustling sound of Hong Kong. It should transport you to a different rhythm of life as soon as you walk through the door. So a strong contrast to the usual aesthetics in Hong Kong is important. I'm Desmond Wong, the owner of Archetypo, a furniture and lighting store in Hong Kong. Uh, I'm not a designer, but I design the apartment myself. The apartment is located in the trendy neighborhood of Sai Yung Pun, at the foot of Victoria Peak on the western side of Hong Kong Island. The original site consisted of nine Tong Laos, traditional low-rise terrace buildings very unique to Hong Kong. However, with the ever-expanding population of Hong Kong, many of these Tong Laos are being redeveloped into high-rises to house more units. I live here by myself, but I designed the space with a young couple living in it in mind to ensure I account for adequate space should I want to rent it out in the future. The entire development is only 11 years old and the apartment only had one or two previous owners. The unit was in very good condition but the flooring was starting to date and the floor plan doesn't really fit my lifestyle. The original floor plan consisted of two bedrooms, a storage room and a balcony. Although 11 years old, the kitchen was still in great condition, so it was relatively untouched. The two bedrooms were knocked into one master bedroom and the storage room was merged with the living space to create a more open plan. We added a wall to cover a window to create a more private space in the living area. I drew a lot of references and inspiration from the wabi-sabi earthy aesthetics and the clean lines of European arches. They soften the edge and brings a harmonious feeling to the space. The first impression to me was very important. I want to ensure the light and the view outside can be utilized as soon as you walk through the front door. I have chosen a fairly neutral palette throughout the flat and the accent colored pieces is kept only at the lower half of the unit to avoid any facial clutter. Only sheer curtains are used in the living area and all the furniture pieces are lifted off the ground to ensure a sense of lightness in the space. As with any small apartment, the living area and the dining area are often next to each other in the same space. To separate the two areas, I've installed a new wall over one of the existing windows with multiple purposes in mind. A feature wall lamp was installed so that your eyes were drawn to the back of the room as soon as you walk through the front door. The additional wall also provides an extra sense of privacy from the opposite building, especially when the living room only has sheer curtains. The sofa was positioned in a way when I'm relaxing on a sofa, the view of Hong Kong will be uninterrupted. A raised decking platform was installed in a balcony to the same level of the interior flooring to create continuity to the space. Because the storage room is now part of the living area, a fold-high cupboard was installed behind the sofa and everything inside has a designated space. Wallpaper was used on a sliding door to add some earthy texture to the space. The textured wallpaper has a similar color palette to the wall so that the storage unit can blend in in the existing space. Grills were also installed above the cupboard to provide more storage space whilst hiding the AC unit. I love having friends over. The dining table sits four when it's closed, but when extended, it can sit up to eight people. 
as the kitchen was still in relatively good condition, it was left relatively untouched. We only removed the door to optimize the usability of the space and to ensure the door frame is in line with the rest of the house. It also has a washer dryer under the original counter. After combining the two small bedrooms, we have a panoramic view of the bay window and a more functional room. Drawers and a marble desktop was installed below the bay window to create a more seamless design and a more utilized space. There's also a new task light installed above the desk. There are two full height cupboards and platinum mirrors were used on one of them to act as a full length mirror. As the apartment gets a lot of reflected light from the buildings outside, the platinum mirrors also soften the light in the space. There's also additional storage under the hydraulic queen size bed. There's no window in the bathroom, so the white marble counter was lifted off the ground to ensure a sense of lightness in the space as well. The original bathtub was removed and a walk-in shower was installed instead. Crackle defect green tiles were used from top to bottom of the shower to elongate the sense of space. Antique bronze fittings were used in the bathroom to go in line with the rest of the apartment. Home is a manifestation of one's habits and needs. It is important to examine how you live, what works and doesn't work for you prior to the design process. It's only after this examination that you can really incorporate meaningful solutions and design ideas into your space. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.